Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thank you for asking me, are there different types of warrants? Yes, there most definitely are different types of warrants. But before we discuss the differences, let's define the word warrant, and then let's examine their similarities. For Fourth Amendment purposes, a warrant refers to an authorization issued by a competent officer, usually a judge or a magistrate, which permits an otherwise illegal act that would violate an individual's rights. Now that may sound like a lot of legal mumbo jumbo, so I'm going to restate it. A warrant is a document which evidences a formal judicial approval of specific and limited action by the government against a citizen. Now that we know what a warrant is, regardless of the type, in order to be legal, any warrant must share three common denominators. First, they must all be specific or exhibit particularity. Second, they must all issue upon sworn facts which establish probable cause. And third, a truly impartial arbiter must be the one to make the call. Similarities set, what are the differences? The biggest contrast can be seen in arrest warrants versus search warrants. An arrest warrant authorizes the seizure of a specific individual for a specific crime, whereas a search warrant authorizes the inspection of a specific location for specified items of evidence for a specific crime. Either way, please note the word specificity or particularity, as that is an absolute requirement. While there is only one variety of search warrant, arrest warrants can take many different forms. For instance, there is a garden variety arrest warrant where a cop asks a judge for permission to arrest a citizen for committing a specific crime. But then there are bench warrants, which, as their name suggests, issue by a judge from the bench. But they differ from the traditional arrest warrant in that a bench warrant is not supported by any sworn testimony and it usually has nothing to do with a new crime. Rather, bench warrants usually issue for your failure to appear in court. The same holds true for what's called an alias capius or an FTA, failure to appear warrant. These also issue from the bench and generally apply to someone who's already been arrested and charged. That said, criminal judges and the governor can issue fugitive warrants or extradition warrants and probation warrants can issue as well. Also, family court judges sometimes issue what's called a writ of bodily attachment. These are basically arrest warrants for delinquent support payments like child, uh, uh, child support or alimony. In addition to these, there are a variety of other detainers or holds which can be administratively placed on someone and they serve as de facto arrest warrants. For example, an immigration or an ICE hold being placed on somebody who's being held in a state institution on a state crime. That said, I thank you very much for your question. I appreciate your having asked it. Please remember that here at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.